Fish and wildlife officers were back at the park looking for any clues to explain why the cougar came after a little boy Saturday night. Um, he sustained some minor injuries. Fortunately, his family had some dogs with them. They were able to turn loose, which intervened and uh, chased the cougar away. The cougar had been spotted hanging around the park earlier in the afternoon. Fish and wildlife officers came out but couldn't find the animal then. The city decided to close the park with a plan of bringing out more tracking dogs this morning. But the park was apparently still full of people when the animal came at the boy sometime after 9 o'clock. The child's doing well, so again, we're just really relieved of that. Um, and our, our thoughts are with the child and his family, and we're just grateful that this didn't turn out worse than it did. Fish and Wildlife tracked the cougar and found it at around 1 a.m. and euthanized the animal. The cougar was a young adult male who weighed about 125 pounds and appeared to be healthy. There are times when we're able to relocate cougars, but anytime a cougar chooses to make contact with a person, we can't risk that happening somewhere else with someone else. That's what struck me as odd is that the, the noise didn't deter it. The incident caused more surprise than fear for those who live in the community. Shelby Scott said they recently had a cougar in their backyard. Still, he's never seen any signs of them here. That is pretty scary right there, you know. Um, on the other hand, it's kind of not that surprising because of the, you know, that's where we live. We live in the wildland interface and it just kind of comes with the territory. Cougar attacks are extremely rare, but Fish and Wildlife says this is a reminder when you're in this kind of habitat, you have to be vigilant. In Leavenworth, Amy Marino, King 5 News.